After decades of research, the treatment of rare diseases is entering an era of great hope. Rare eye disease in particular. Joining me now to discuss the current research for inherited eye disease is Dr. Julia Holler, ophthalmologist-in-chief of Will's Eye Hospital, and Laura Manfrey, founder of Sophia Sees Hope. Ladies, welcome to you both. Thanks for being here. Thank, Thank you. you. It's a pleasure to be here. Look, uh, nothing more important than our vision, our sight. So tell us more. Uh, Dr. Holler, maybe you can start the research, the exciting research now being conducted into these inherited eye diseases. Very exciting research. We're talking about diseases, of course, that are blinding and are passed from parents to their children. And research is now leading us down two pathways. One, we're able to identify the gene defect. And second, we're able to target that defect for future therapies. That's unbelievable. So this is a, basically a form of genetic testing, and it plays a key role, I guess, in the ongoing clinical research to help save people's sight, help maybe cure them potentially these diseases. Absolutely. So the first step is to identify the actual gene defect. And that's where the gene testing, the genetic testing comes in because it's so important to know exactly where the error is in the DNA. And then you're able to not only understand the disease process, figure out what the future holds, but also empower yourself uh, to be part of clinical trials and to be teed up for the therapies that are on the horizon with gene therapy and other types of therapeutic approaches. Laura, let's go over to you for a second. Uh, Sophia Sees Hope. Uh, it sounds like an incredible mm -hmm. effort. Talk about that. Sure. So Sophia is our daughter, and it took us seven years to get a genetic diagnosis. She has something called Leber Congenital Amaurosis, LCA for short. It is a rare eye disorder, and it leads to complete blindness. Um, so we obviously were, were devastated when we originally got that diagnosis and then did everything we could to identify the exact genetic mutation that causes it so that we can participate in any trials, we can support building a natural history of the disease. And one of the things that we realized very quickly was not just do we want to fund uh, research to sort of ad advance and accelerate these treatments, but it's so, so important that we make sure that other families also know how they can now access genetic testing. And that doesn't take seven years anymore. You don't have to travel across state uh, or, or to a, across the country even to a medical center. Genetic testing is much more widely available today. Uh, it also is no longer cost prohibitive. And we're funding programs to make sure that families that need can access testing for free. So it doesn't take them seven years uh, and they can do it much more easily today. Uh, last thought, and I, and I guess either of you can answer this, but just it's all about hope. I mean, you talked about your daughter, you know, an amazing story there, but, but this genetic testing, right. is it discovering the, the problem early? That's what gives the new hope and, and gets the treatment to these people and even kids who need it sooner? Right. Knowledge is power. So the sooner you can get a diagnosis, then the sooner then you can really be able to uh, participate and, and help advance the research. And then the other piece of hope is, is uh, the gene therapy, uh, actually editing out mistakes and, and curing blindness. Well, uh, what an incredible thing to even hear you say that, potentially curing at least some forms of blindness. Th uh, ladies, thank you so much for being here today. Great uh, effort there. And real quickly, a website for more information. A sharedvision.com sponsored by Spark Therapeutics is a good place to start and it will lead you to a lot of other resources. All right, Dr. Holler, Laura Manfrey with Sophia Sees Hope. Thanks for being here. We'll be back with more Midday Maryland right after this.